Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is your boy, I Get a Treat, and I'm just giving you a quick update on the fact that Apple is getting ready to release a new firmware, 3.1, uh, and 3.0 just came out a couple days ago, like two weeks ago. Uh, I made a video previously on my overview of the iPod Touch 3.0 software. And I guess they saw it and heard it, or a lot of people was complaining about it. Uh, it's real. I the the three point oh software itself is really buggy. I think it was they released it too early. Uh, they should have left it in labs for more tests. But the new three point one uh, beta is out to the developers and uh, yeah, it's to, out to the SDK developers. Uh, to develop apps, I'm assuming, or just test it out. Uh, they say the Apple haven't released any info on what or what features do they're gonna have to draw us to want to update to it. Uh, I'm not sure what else they can incorporate in the 3.1 update yet, but. It's coming, guys. It's coming in a few days. But I'll say about July 21st, you should be able to have the... Uh, matter of fact, yeah, about July 21st, you guys should have... Uh, they should release the new 3.1 beta. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be free for the iPod Touch. But if not, I will still have it on my website at igadgetry.weebly.com. And you know it's gonna be free for the iPhone users, but since we just updated to 3.0 a few week, few weeks ago, I updated about three and a half weeks ago because I had a firmware real early. But uh, I, I'm assuming that Apple is gonna have this one released for free uh, for the iPod Touch users, because you know I'm an iPod Touch user. I don't have iPhone. 16 gig love my baby right here but yeah this is just my updating you that the new 3.1 beta uh it should they said it's gonna update your uh iphone baseband the 3g's baseband to 5.8.1 that's extremely high uh Yep, I guess they want you to stop unlocking their phones. Apple's getting real mad right now. And you know Steve Jobs back. So, yeah. Uh, and probably because of that overheating issue with the iPhone 3.0. Uh, pretty much that's it uh, I'm trying to see if I can find anything new inside the new 3.1 beta Okay, yeah, here it goes. The voice control could be worked over Bluetooth for the iPhone. Uh, when you move icons around, the iPhone vibrates. Uh, MMS is enabled by default, but does not work for AT&T users. The improvements to OpenGL and Quartz, uh, AT&T profile, is updated to 4.2. There's now a video editor, edit, editor control API allows third party apps to call up video editing UI. You got a video picker uh, API, and when you're trimming your videos for the iPhone 3GS, you now have the option to save the uh, original video by tapping save as. 
uh, copy button. Uh, the baseband has been updated to 5.0801 like I mentioned previously. And users should not use the iPhone OS 3.1 beta. Otherwise their iPhones could be permanently locked. Uh, I guess Apple has found and... Has found the bug in the new 3.0 software. Uh, just follow me on my website, igantry.weebly.com, and I will have the latest updates on it. Uh, that's it for now. I'm out. I Peace.